pleasure of a lifetime the love inside your eyes when I reach for inspiration in your touch it's always there giving me faith every step of the way giving me Thank you. Thank it you. It's all over now, brother. <laughs>
the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Two hearts, two lives, joined together in friendship, united forever in love. To our family and friends, our joy is now more complete by your being here to share in this day of our new beginning. This day, Marilyn will marry George, the one she laughs with, lives for, dreams with, but especially loves. In Ruth chapter 1, verse 16, we read, Whither thou goest, I will go. Where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people. Thy God, my God. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? Family and friends, kindly be seated. God knew that everybody needs companionship and cheer. He knew that people need someone whose thoughts are always near. He knew they needed someone kind to lend a helping day, someone to gladly take the time to care, to understand. That's why God gave us family and friends. He knew we all need someone kind to lend a helping day, to be a source of courage when troubles come our way, someone to be true to us whether near or far apart, Someone whose love will always hold and treasure in our heart. That's why God gave us family and friends. And Marilyn and George, today you have invited your family and friends to witness something that started some time ago. Your love for each other has blossomed to a point that today you have decided to become husband and wife. This world in which we live in is lacking something that both of you have within your heart, and that is love. That's why I want to recall the words found in the 13th chapter of Corinthians where we read, Set your hearts on the greater gift, and I will show you the way which surpasses all the rest. If I speak with human and angelic but do not have love, I'm as a noisy gong or clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and with full knowledge comprehend all mysteries, if I have faith great enough to move mountains but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, love is not jealous, it does not put on airs, it is not snobbish, it is never rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not prone to anger, neither doth it brood over injury. Love doth not rejoice in what is wrong, but rejoices in the truth. There is no limit to love's forbearance, its trust, its hope, its power to endure. Love never fails. And I know I join with your loving family and friends. And wishing for both of you to have a very long, happy, and healthy life together. May Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless, preserve, and keep you both from this day forward and forevermore. Amen. Marilyn and George have asked me to express to you, their family and friends, some very, very special sentiments. So at this time, I'm going to ask Marilyn to give you flowers for your Nirvana. And I'm going to ask that you kindly face George and hold hands. Today we stand before each other about to exchange the vows of marriage. This special time of happiness in our lives is all the more complete because we are surrounded by you, our wonderful family and friends, some of whom we know have traveled many miles to share this day with us. We want all to know how much your being here means to us. Today I will marry my best friend, my life's partner, the one I laugh with and cry with, the one person I know I can always count on to be there in good times, to share in my victory, and in bad times to comfort me and ease the pain of defeat. We respect the fact that while we will be husband and wife, we are still individuals, each with our own likes, dislikes, and dreams. You have always accepted me for the person that I am, never asking me to change, and loving me in spite of whatever differences we might have. We know that sacrifice and compromise are part of achieving any dream, and we promise to help each other unselfishly to achieve those dreams. Life has been so much happier because of you, and knowing that you will always be at my side makes my heart smile. 
The greatest gift that you have ever given me is your love. And it is the one thing that I shall treasure more than anything in this world. God has been good to us, and we thank him for all his kindness. And we ask for his blessing on our marriage today, and on Richard, Christopher, and Daniel, and all our family and friends who will share in our love and our life. George, wilt thou have this woman to be thy wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? We love her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her, so long as you both shall live. I will. Marilyn, wilt thou have this man to be thy wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? We love him, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health. Forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him, so long as you both shall live. I will. George, would you kindly repeat after me? I, George, take you, Marilyn. I, George, take you, Marilyn. To be my wife. To be my wife. To be my strength. To be my strength. When I am weak. When I am weak. To be my friend. To be my friend. And my love and my love all the days all the days of my life of my life i promise to love you i promise to love you with all my heart with all my heart all my soul all my soul all my strength all my strength in good times in good times and in bad and in bad in joy in joy and in sorrow and in sorrow forsaking all others forsaking all others for the light of your love for the light of your love Marilyn, would you repeat after me? I, Marilyn, take you, George. I, Marilyn, take you, George. To be my husband. To be my husband. I ask you. I ask you. To be my strength. To be my strength. When I am weak. When I am weak. To be my friend. To be my friend. And my love. And my love. All the days. All the days. Of my of life. Of my life. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. With all my heart. With all my heart. All my soul. All my soul. All my strength. And all my strength. In good times. In good times. And in bad. And in bad. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. For the light of your love. For the light of your love. And do you yes, have symbols of your love and sincerity? Rings are circular in shape which suggests that there's no ending to them. It is our hope that they will symbolize the love that is between you which should have no ending to it. Rings are also made of a very precious metal, suggesting a quality about them which is priceless. It is our hope that your love will be of such quality that it will inspire us all to a life of love. Such a love is priceless. Bless, O oh Lord, this ring, that he who gives it and she who wears it may be blessed abundantly from this day forward and forevermore. For we ask it in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> Marilyn, will you receive this ring from George as a sign of his love and devotion? And will you wear it as a sign of your own love and devotion to him? George, would you place the ring? And bless, O oh Lord, this ring, that she who gives it and he who wears it may be blessed abundantly from this day forward and forevermore. Amen. George, will you receive this ring from Marilyn as a sign of her love and devotion? And will you wear it as a sign of your own love and devotion to her? I will. And this we ask in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Marilyn, would you kindly place the ring on George's finger? A paraphrased verse of Elizabeth Browning gives a challenge to those who choose to love with the commitment you have just expressed. If you must love one another, let it be for love's sake only. Do not say you love someone for their smile, their look, their way of speaking gently, or for the trick of thought that agrees with you. These things themselves may be changed or changed for you, and love may be undone. Neither love for pity's sake, wiping cheeks dry, a creature might forget to weep and lose your love thereby, but love each other for love's sake only, that evermore you might love on through an eternity. Let us pray. O oh, eternal God, creator and preserver of all mankind, giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life, send thy blessing upon these thy servants, this man and this woman, whom we bless in thy name that as Isaac and Rebekah live faithfully together, so these persons may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant between them made, throughout this ring given and received as a token and pledge, and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together, and live according to thy Lord. This we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us all to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For as much as George and Marilyn have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God in this company, and thereto have given and pledged their love each to the other, and have declared the same by giving and receiving of rings and by joining hands under the authority vested in me by Almighty God and the laws of the state of New York, I pronounce that you are now husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> entered here separately. Today, two lives go out united. In just a moment, George and Marilyn are each going to take a candle in hand and light the center candle and then blow the one out in their hand. As they take the candle in hand today, we are reminded that in God's holy word, that the path of the just is as a shining light that grows brighter and brighter until the perfect day. Our Lord said, I am the light of the world. They that followeth after me shall never walk in darkness but you'll always have the light of life. And now, Marilyn and George, as you each take the candle in hand, I know once again I join with each one here